outer side centre wing. Straight through Heinrich. It was a clever play from Aish, wheeling the ball back in towards centre half forward. And underneath it was Teal, but uh, plenty of bodies there. And Gallagher straight down from the centre with a short uh, chip shot underneath the ball there. Uh, right in the goals is Andrew Aish from brother to brother. And the first goal goes on the board for the Red Legs. A good passage of football. The hand pass came from Woodcock beautifully to Phil Gallagher and the running ace was headed towards goal, unable to mark, but it bounced nicely for him and the first goal on the board. Well, Gallagher uh, playing in the centre for Norwood this afternoon with his brother playing on the wing. Malcolm Noble trying to crash through. The good work comes from Leonard, fitting the hand pass in the direction there of uh, Heinrich, but he's unloaded. Jenkins. Under the left boot, wide, looking for uh, Michael Aish, having a little difficulty in picking the ball up. It's good enough to work it in towards centre half forward. Again, uh, Andrew Aish, from uh, the tip of his toes, tried to give it out to Woodcock. Woodcock, uh, slightly out of position, fumbled at the vital moment. The ball is out of bounds on the Norwood half forward line. So he works the ball down towards the half forward line, very close to that boundary line. The mark taken there by Andrew Aish. Centre half forward is his target. And Woodcock. Woodcock's about 50 metres out from goals. Ignores the lead from Teal. Sees another lead now. Coming cross field here towards Michael Aish. Gets it back uh, to Thomas. Thomas in turn to John Gallagher. And Gallagher under pressure. Puts the ball out of bounds. Adjacent to the Norwood point. Back line. Spill versus Button. The spoil by Button. Down to the feet of Sims. Who taps it back nicely to Heinrich. Who's run down by John Gallagher. A fine tackle. And Gallagher quick to Aish. In for Colosanti. Big fellow can't control it. Andrew Aish, an unprotected goal. He goes towards that. Dropping back Whittlesea and touch through for one point. Red legs move to one goal one. Sturt yet to score. Five minutes of this first term play. Set a half backs his target. Underneath the ball is Spiel. Off hands, crashing through was Barton. Teal fed uh, Michael Aish already. And on the lead, Hugo Colosanti. On the second grab too, Big Hugo. Wrap those big fingers around the ball and uh, he's about 30 metres out from goal on about an equivalent angle. In boards his target and he's found John Gallagher. Gallagher is on a better angle, about 35 metres out from goal. Let's see what he can do with this. Nord, uh, one goal, one, seven points, leading the Blues. Yet to score, in fact, uh, Stewart haven't got the ball over the centre line yet. It's a beautiful kick up the boot and that's through. First goal to uh, John Gallagher and the second goal to Norwood. They go along the two goal, one 13 points, leading Sturt yet to score. It was a good kick coming from Gallagher. A spotting Colosanti on the lead, and the big fellow, not unlike the Harlem Globetrotters, as he twirled the ball around on the fingers, tucked her in. Good ball control by the big fellow, showing good agility. Button crouched, spiel. Tap by Button to Gallagher, fed to Jenkins. Cleverly around Mark Heinrich. Through half forward it goes. Till versus Sims down to the feet of Benzel. Benzel goes towards an unprotected goal and has belted it offline. Golden opportunity going begging there for the Red Legs. They move to two goals too. Sturt have yet to score. It's from the half back line up towards midfield. Michael Aish under the ball and uh, he's had a field day already. On to Hughes. Hughes short to uh, Colosanti. Off hands to Woodcock. He can't get around onto that left boot. Taken beautifully. Look at that sidestep from Pete Thomas and snaps away at goals, but it's offline. It backs over. No, it's through for a minor score. And Albie Menzel now from the centre of the ground, trying to get around Graham. Succeeds in doing so. Too long for uh, Colosanti. It's tapped down. Oh, beautifully done by Woodcock. Off the fingers, through for his first goal. The third one for the Red Legs for a 21-point lead. Well, that was brilliant anticipation there from Roger Wood Woodcock, and he's lethal once the ball falls onto that left side. And he pokes through Norwood's third goal. Menzel from midfield. Watch the ball come off hands and uh, fell right into the waiting lap there of uh, Roger Woodcock. And he put his first goal on the board, and Norwood's third. They've advanced now to three goals, three 21 points. Gallagher cross field finds Hughes. He feeds Jenkins. Promising Norwood attack right into the goal square. Underneath the ball is Teal and Sims keeping him under pressure. Oh, well done by Jim Teal. Worked it back to Andrew Ace. Back to uh, Button. Button uncontested really. Has the steps off from 10 metres out. 
and puts through the red leg for a goal. Good football by Norwood. Getting value for kicks, going for distance, using players on the run the whole time. 18 minutes into this first term, they lead by 21 points. Favours the screw punt. Gets good distance into the hole at centre half forward. Discipline defence by Norwood. Well read Gallagher. Chips around the corner. No one home. Leonard leads in the race for the ball. Ace steaming across the centre. Runs him down beautifully. Magnificently done, Michael Ace. John Gallagher in. The Michael Ace. Well blocked by Whittlesey. Menzel going to ground. Can't work it out. Leonard on the bottom. Menzel comes clear. Over the part, not a good hand pass. Bad ball handling, given away a free kick, and Phil Heinrich will send Sturt ball. 22 minute mark. Colasadi's tap. Nicholson, oh, cleverly back. He knew Noble was there. Over to Graham Hughes on the run. Plenty of time to recover from bad ball handling. Looking for Jenkins in front of Fredericks at centre or the half forward line. Fredericks persisting. A hand pass almost went astray. Jenkins recovers. Big spiel up there with Woodcock. Well trapped Woodcock. Fed to the feet of Bruce Winter from full back. Kicks from centre wing up through half forward. Whittlesey nudge forward. Bursting through there, big teal. Oh, he set Barton up in the goal square. And goal number five goes on the board for the Redlegs. And the umpire ruled it was touched off the boot. And the Redlegs moved to four goals, five. Sturt on one goal one. The Redlegs by 22 points. Hollis quick to move it as Graham flashes through. Now Cabral knocks it down and forces an error for Nicholson to mark. Nicholson wide and short to Dunstan. He's got the running player here in Adler. Three on the half back line. Fires up towards centre wing and on the lead as uh, Andrew Race and takes a fine chest mark in front of Parker. Towards Sims and Michael Ace from behind was uh, Teal. Oh, he got the rather fortunate uh, off hands there. Up towards the full forward position and uh, running the wrong way with the ball was uh, Barton. Beautifully done by Woodcock to Menzel, and Menzel fires from 20 metres out from goal, but it just skewed off line at the last moment and went through for a minor score. Put it. Casey, good distance, directly to the centre, looking for Fry, who couldn't pull it in. Gallagher settles, goes for the short pass. It's in the Barton. And the big Norwood Ruckman, who started in the long sleeve sweater, has done a strip. And he's got a possibility of goaling now from directly in front, 30 metres out. One to his credit at this stage. Gets in very close to the man on the mark. But he's got the right acknowledgement. His first, the second goal, Norwood's fifth, and they lead by 28 points. Tim Fake made the space, but uh, poor angle. Goal squares the target. Winter's in front. Oh, brilliant falling mark taken by Bruce Winter. Plays on quickly. Noble towards centre wing. Aish off hands to Hughes. Hughes fires up towards the half forward line. Bad bounce there for Teal and Sims, but the umpires picked out a free kick and said that Sims interfered with uh, Jim Teal. And Teal will take the free kick from the other side, centre wing. Kicks straight into the middle of uh, Trevor Sims, then got back on the ball. It's a one on one tussle over there. Looked to be interference from Sims on. Uh, Jim Teal and Teal will take the free kick and plays on quickly to Gallagher. Gallagher transfers play towards the half forward line looking for Woodcock. Woodcock with the short 9-9 uh, nine -nine chip shot. Finds Ace free in the forward pocket. Oh, he shaped the play on. It looked definitely to be playing on but uh, decides to settle and take the, the shot for goal about 35 metres out from goal. About 15 uh, degrees in the angle and goes inboard and finds Woodcock standing all by his lonesome. Almost straight in front of the goals so about 30 metres out straight in front. Usually a very accurate kick, Roger Woodcock. He's already got one goal. And we're at the 29-minute mark in the first quarter, and this will be a very, very handy goal. There's not uh, really all that much in this bruise here at Football Park. And that's a beautiful, balanced, accurate kick coming from Roger Woodcock. That's his second goal. And so Norwood now go along to six goals, six forty-two points, leading Sturt one goal to eight points. And it's all Norwood here at Football Park. Drop punt, good distance, going for the centre half forward spot. Forced away by Noble, Phil Gallagher takes, gives it to brother John, through the centre, a high ball up into the hole, centre half forward. Colosetti away from Casey, well read Woodcock, 
can't get on the left leg, gives it to Andrew Ace. Steadies, puts the ball in long and high, and it's off line for a point. Norwood moved to six goals, seven. Sturt on one goal, two. Three minutes have gone in the second quarter. Casey, right down to Jim Teal's feet, but he cannot get two hands on the ball. He's almost holding the ball there from uh, Teal. Winds up eventually here with Parker. Oh, he had absolutely nowhere to go and gave, gave, gave Casey the ball, and Casey, under loads of pressure, dropped the ball. And the Red Leagues have another chance to score a goal, and it's in the hands now of Keith Thomas. Another Norwood player that played brilliantly in the first quarter. Pretty acute angle, fires away a goal, and the goal umpire did not have to move on each, and that's... Uh, Great goal there from Keith Thomas, and as I said before, he played very well in the first quarter. Now Norwood move along to 7 7 49, leading the Blues 1 8 1 2. High ball going into the half forward line. Dunstan versus Pake out the back, Winter reads it well. Short as Gallagher gives the lead between centre wing and the half back line, cleverly around. Typical Gallagher agility to the feet of Dunstan. Menzel did it well, Dunstan to Phil Gallagher. And likewise, the other player gets back. Dunstan over to Thomas. He's flanked by Jenkins. Fakes, tip short. Oh. There's Menzel. And Menzel played the mark. As the little fella had to go back against the tide. Showed tremendous recovery and poise to gain the mark. Goalless at this stage. And that short pass going in from Thomas almost reached over the top. But Albie Menzel able to withstand the pressure. Fires for goal, it fades across, but it's stuck inside, his first goal. And the Red Legs come back quickly with their eighth to lead by 40 points. That was a very skillful book there from uh, Keith Thomas. As we said earlier, Keith Thomas and both of the Gallagher boys, along with Michael Ace in the first quarter for Norwood, set up numerous forward uh, moves. And again in this second quarter, they've been the dominant player. Winter gets the lead from Collar Sandy to the outer side, button up over the top, obviously the interchange is on with the two big fellas, tries to wheel it over now to Thomas, Casey giving chase, geez well away from his goal, but he's given away a free kick, Colin Casey obviously followed the interchange Ruckman up to the centre of the ground, but Thomas to put the legs into attack, high towards the half forward line, this could be Dunstan, takes the mark well, centre half forward, who's running now on the lead is Woodcock, that's the way the ball goes, once again beautifully dispatched, given to him on the plate, nothing the Sturt defence could do, and Roger Woodcock has a chance for goal number three. His seventh kick, 40 metres out, the breeze slightly in front of him, it's a nice looking kick, just fading away slightly at the last, and registers only one point. For the half forward line, kicks in long, going to be close, getting back, winner takes a fine getting mark, only two metres out from goal. Dummies well, Hughes is 30 metres clear of his opponent. Oh, there's a paddock here to work on. Thought about running at the Menzel, now kicks long to the half forward line. Ace can't make it. Jenkins in there. Friedrichs for Sturt, Till over the top. Bulldozes his way through. Andrew Ace gets the ball out. But in the meantime, Till has been legged and will take a free kick. And what a superb pass from Winter to Hughes. It uh, never got more than five feet off the ground and it went straight to him. Loose checking also, Peter. How's this for loose checking? Jenkins, steadies, 40 metres out, and bombs it through. Beautiful goal, Danny Jenkins, his first. And Norwood running the Blues off their legs as they lead 9-8 to 3-4 at the 18-minute mark of the second quarter. The changes come about, of course, with Sims leaving, and Reed has gone straight to centre-half back. He's immediately in the action. So too is Ace again. Ace chips short, Woodcock on the lead, gets their beautiful mark, Roger Woodcock. Low to the ground, once again the Sturt defence, no chance of cutting off passes such as that. On his natural left leg, it's his seventh mark. Only 30 metre out, kick number eight. The umpire said he's pushed it through, his third goal. Norwood can do no wrong. There's Derrick the Sturt in player, uh, Sturt player in trouble. See, they're in a lot of trouble, the Blues, but uh, they're hanging in. Through comes Keith Thomas. What a game he's playing. He's kicked towards Turbill. Turbill's in the middle of the pack. Comes out to Aish. Andrew Aish, that is. Plays it onto his brother, Michael Aish. 
He can't get past Wiseman. Teal can. He's pushed. Not paid a free kick. Players all over the ball and Peter Mead's on the spot. A bounce. Left half forward flank for the red leg side. 10-8. They're destroying the Blues at the moment. 4-4. Derrington off. Zubrinik on for his first run for the afternoon. Stirred in trouble as Peter said. But no, what a beautiful tash. Andrew Ace into the open goal. Gee, so easily done. Norwood doing it on the bit. As Andrew Ace gets his second goal. And Norwood race to 11-8 to the Blues 4-4. This red leg side is starting to look very, very powerful. Button set that up. Hargraves, Colasanti. Back to Winter. He has time to kick clear to the outer side. Not well directed, however. Almost Mark Heinrich. Gallagher to Adler. The Reds are running again. Gallagher, a beautiful pass there from Adler. A long kick to the half forward line. Teal in position there. And at last the bounce favours Sturt and Wiseman gets the chance. Not for long. Thomas casually through. Slips out the handball to the running Teal. He'll need backup support. Gets it from Andrew Ace. Lopes around the defence. In the end, he's too slow to get rid of the ball. Was looking for someone to give him a lead. The long handball is thrown out. Back to Gallagher. He's run into the ground from behind. And will get a free kick on the half forward right flank. Well, Andy, how can you be complacent at this stage? We're 25 minutes into the second quarter and a lot of Norwood players playing at half pace. Menzel hung out the dry. Craig over the top. In goes Michael Ace. Spill back in defence. Ace butters up again. Slips it over to Turbul. Hooks for the big white stick. Oh, what a beautiful passage of play again. I've run out of superlatives. Norwood playing brilliant football. Turbul in the action as well. And goal number 12 on the board. The interesting thing to watch is the way Neil Button came through from full forward here. He was obviously going to back Turbul up. Aish gets it. The handball comes out to Turbul. Now watch Button come through. Ooh. If the Sturt player was in the wrong position when Button came through, he'd, he'd no longer be on the ground. Good work, Norwood. Sturt forward to the half forward line. Zubrinik having his first touch. Tries to get it out to Spiel. He'll want support. All he can see is red legs. In there was Turbul. Players on top of the ball and the umpire forced to bounce. A bounce down half forward left flank. Sturt badly needing a few goals and in a hurry. Adler kicks high back towards centre wing. The bounce favours out there John Gallagher. Dummied beautifully by Turbul. Run into the ground from behind again. And I don't think Norwood would be upset with the umpiring decisions but still they're playing in front. I don't think that was a friendly sort of thing to do. I think you could have lost the ball. Philip Heinrich is in the wars. Watch this now, now. Too far out to score. Good lead by Friedrichs. He's going to have to half volley that under pressure now. Great tackle there by Danny Jenkins. He and Michael Ace would be two of the best tacklers in the game. And that was a classic example as the siren ends to sound to end the second quarter here at Football Park with Norwood completely in control. 12-8-80 to Sturt's 4-4. Settles, he's 40 metres out, goes for home with a long one. Button can't make it or can he? Right on the line, brilliantly done, Button. And this fellow's moving as well as any rover. Winter kick short to Nicholson. Oh, yeah, Button's covering both ends of the ground. What a game he's played. Hughes back to Nicholson. Norwood players are running. Reed comes in. Nicholson sidesteps. Back to Hughes. No doubt about possession football. Sturt haven't touched it yet. Turbul's on the end of it. Takes all the time you want. I think he'll get rid of it now. That goes to Philip Gallagher. He's no doubt hurt Aish. It goes towards Michael Aish. Aish has got Menzel on the lead. Menzel takes another mark. She's taken a lot of marks today, Menzel. That's mark number seven. And I'd say all of them would have been across that half forward line. He's kicked four goals. Kick number 21, good performance. Up high in the pack, no mark. Fredericks runs away with it. He's got a paddock. Off he goes, screws one. Not a good looking kick. Dunstan's there and takes the mark. Dunstan on the half forward line, another good performer. But as I said, 
everyone played well in the red leg side. But wobbles one, Teal. Oh, he drops this one. Sims back there. In goes Colasani. The bodies go in hard. Casey over the top of the Norwood player. He seems to be exhausted. Turbul it is. And a bounce down will take place. Unfortunately for Sturt Peter, they can't do much all day. They've just been outclassed. Nicholson. Casley around Leonard. Beautifully dispatched on the way to Andrew Ace. He's been quiet on the second half. Had a brilliant first half. Up towards Brother. Dunstan. Menzel again within there. Whittle see this time spoils. Dunstan comes back for the handball. He'll still get it. Ace over to Dunstan. Strides away. Chips it out in front of Jenkins. If it sits, he'll get a goal. Beautifully done. You can pick them a mile off. As I said, it's all program stuff. Neil Palmer's pulling the strings from the bench. Jenkins gets his second goal, and Norwood 18-15 leads Sturt 5-9. 15 kicks, Danny Jenkins, and just before that, one of the best handballs today came out from Michael Aish. Gave it to Dunstan, he did the right thing. Jenkins was burning through the forward line, picked the ball up and kicked the goal. Well, what a performance. 18-15, the leagues, Sturt 5-9. Button and Hargraves, but even their tackles are missing now, Sturt. Sims up, can't bring it down. Turbul wants a running player, Ace is there. Who's he going to give this one to? No, goes it alone, and goal number 19's on the board. His first. He's deserved one, possibly deserved 10 the way he's playing, but has got to be close to the best footballer in South Australia. That's big praise, but I mean it. 19-15 Norwood, Sturt 5-9. I don't think there's any doubt that he's best man on the ground today, Ian. Beautiful balance, broke through the pack. Could have used other Norwood players, but, well, he's played well enough. Why not kick a goal? And he did it so nonchalantly. He did it with the ease of a champion. 19-15 Norwood, Sturt 5-9. Button again. Hooks it back this time to Andrew Ace. They overrun it. Hutton couldn't. Ace again. The running power this time is John Gallagher. Kicks long. But Robbie Barton it was not Gallagher. And this time it's Turbo. It's his fourth mark he's taken under pressure. Only been on since half time. And Button's been given a rest this time. And he gets a huge cheer as he comes off. Even the Norwood bench there, clapping him through. It's been a great performance, but the action on number 17. And Turbul nudges his third goal. And Neil Button has been replaced by Trevor Bell. Kick number seven, Turbul. And he's got three goals. A good performance since he came on. No doubt about it, he's a bit of a tiger when he gets into the packs, but uh, he's a pretty effective footballer. Norwood, in fact, leading by 12 goals too. Colour Sandy. Spiel. Aish again, still fighting on. Barton can't, Turbul can. Read it beautifully behind the pack. Player starting to career past him for the handball, but Turbul will go to kick long. Menzel in short. Going longer to Barton, who's clear. He's got time to settle, but he'll go back and have a shot. 30 metres out, 45 degree angle. Been one of the interchange players this afternoon with Turbul. He's yet to kick a goal. Rectified that situation now with his first. And Norwood's 22nd. Their Rovers have been in brilliant touch. Menzel, Turbul and Barton. 22-15 Norwood, 9-13 Sturt. Neil Baum is happy the way that his team is running it out. Now whether they've just run themselves into the ground with their brilliant running earlier or whether they've relaxed, uh, I don't know whether it would concern him or not. I think Neil Barman would love the siren to go before Sturt kick any more goals. Here's a good movement, Nord in fact. Keep getting those two sides mixed up. Michael Aish, Teal, here's a chance. John Gallagher, he normally kicks straight. Not on that occasion. One point. 22-16 Nord, Sturt 10-13. And that's it at Footy Park. The final siren, 22-16 Norwood, surging into the five. Sturt 10-13.